Greetings, Earthman from Origami's Living Soil, servant of the Most High God, servant of the Living God, who loves all of us, and here he is in nature, how he works. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, liquid fertilizers, do they make good plants? Do they make uh, big plants? Yes, they can. Um, are they the right way to go? I don't think so. Um, I think you can achieve better results, uh, just as huge plants, maybe sometimes not as big, but as big, you know, you know no, as big good, as huge good. I guess in some cases it, it seems to be, but I think quality is more uh, a factor to, you know, to look over and just think, I'd rather have quality than quantity, whatever you might be growing. Um, now, what do I mean? Well, you get good soil loaded with different type of nutrients, then you inoculate it with just a wide variety of spectrum of different bacteria and fungi, you know, microorganisms, and you put that plant in there. And what happens is that those biofertilizers, those microorganisms you put in the soil, will break down all that organic matter and make it plant ready just as easy as liquid fertilizers. But here it is. That's the way God designed it to be. That's the way God designed it to happen. If you look at all your different NPK, all the minerals that you could put in your soil, such as uh, big pluses of rock dust and azelite, um loaded with, with up to like 75 different type of minerals, I think there is, you're not going to get that in liquid fertilizers. And uh, there, there are tiny, minute minerals that your plant needs for the hidden value of the plant, um, how it stays healthy and how it tastes differently than a liquid fertilizer if grown in organic soil with living soil. There is a huge difference, and um, I don't mean to be a broken record, but over and over and over I'm going to tell you that there is a, a huge difference between the taste and the smell and everything else in plants grown in soil with no liquid fertilizers, be they organic or chemical, definitely not chemical, um, you're never going to get the same result, but you know they do have organic liquid fertilizers. But in my opinion, you, you should use box fertilizers such as fish meal, alfalfa meal, feather meal, um, kelp, uh, kelp meal. I mean, there's so many different things. Like I said, rock dust, asmonite, uh, yarrow is really good. Um, stinging nettle leaves are really high in nitrogen. There's a lot of different things that you can use to feed your plant that you can grow right in your yard, and uh, you can get uh, just so much out of nature and how nature just works itself out, you know. Oyster shell flour is a good one, very high in calcium. And you get bacteria in there that break down that calcium, you're not going to need CalMag. You're not going to need to worry about if your plant's going to get too much of this or too much of that liquid you know, and, you know, I'm sure in your time, maybe you burnt some plants using liquid fertilizers. You never have to worry about that if you do a really proper soil recipe. That means, you know, not enough that's going to burn it, all the uh, powder and, you know, mineral box fertilizers that are, na you know, natural, not, you know, mad processed, just natural products. Mix in your soil. With the microorganisms, it's going to be a huge difference. Why? Because that's the way God designed it. So I don't know if this video makes any sense. If it does, like it. If it doesn't, then um, sorry about wasting your time. But I think this is a point to be taken into. Living soil is what you want when growing plants. Not good soil with liquid fertilizer. It's not the way it should, you know, should have been done.